Everybody watching right now knows who SS Sniper Wolf is, okay? Leah, you guys all know who she is. I made a video a year ago called Sniper Wolf Sucks, where I just talked about how her, her videos are really bad. I've probably made like two or three other videos about her as well at some point, basically just reacting to her content and how bad it is and how boring it is. Just because basically all she does is like pretend to react to talks where she says some bullshit. I made this video called Sniper Wolf is Annoying three weeks ago, and this video was specifically regarding her beef with Jax Films. Now they got into a bit of a spat on Twitter where she basically accused him of like going after female creators because I don't know he's just some like malding incel that's angry that she's famous and he basically responded and was like you know what you steal content you suck you're a piece of sh Well, the other day he uploaded a video called Let's Talk About Sniper Wolf, where he continued this drama. And if you go to his channels tab in his channel, he has this hey guys, channel, JJ Jax Films, which is basically a parody of Sniper Wolf in the first place. And he's already uploaded two videos about her in the past, you know, few days. One called Grading an Awful Reactor, and the other called She Just Repeats Everything Louder. So this guy actually, like, hates Sniper Wolf oh. at this point. I don't think there's much of a question. He hates her to the point that he hated Jinx and people like that back in the day. He thinks her content is straight up trash. We see this video right in the thumbnail. We have stolen content. It has 500,000 views, which is like a pretty good performing video for his channel, you know, nonetheless for any YouTuber, but also for his channel in one day, that's good views. And it seems like he's really going after her. He's really calling her out. And I'm curious what he had to say. So we're going to watch this together. All right, let's do this one last time. This is Sniper Wolf. She's a YouTuber with over 30 million subscribers. She uploads daily and her videos get at least a million views each. So what does she do? She steals TikToks and reacts to them. Oh, it looks like a cartoon! Let's talk about how egregious this freebooting is. In each of her hundreds and hundreds of videos, she plays other people's talks and provides extremely base level commentary. And this is true. I mean, if, you, if you've if you seen any of her videos, this is the stuff I've been complaining about from her for years, where her content is like, I mean, it's not that Excuse big of a me, deal man. at the end of the day because she is reacting to TikToks, which is like, you know, it's TikTok, who gives a sh but at the same time, she is kind of stealing content, right? She's basically putting all this good content that people made that's actually eye-catching into a compilation, and then she reacts to it, and she's just like, you know, a pretty girl, so people click on it for that in the thumbnail. And then they stay for the TikToks, right? They're not really there for her. They're there for, for the TikToks themselves, which she is reacting to. And if you watch any of her videos, like it, li literally any of them, it's very clear that she doesn't have very much to say about any of these any of these TikToks. Hello, friends, it's me. And today we're checking out some people who got stuck in some weird places. Mother wouldn't give her a dollar to get a pack of Skittles. So she literally crawled into the vending machine. I didn't even know this was possible. Kids literally would do anything like for candy. she's can just saying what happened in the video right now. Andy, I would be lying if as a child, I haven't tried to stick an entire arm up a vending machine to try to get something out of it. But this kid literally went in there. Congratulations, now you got the candy. Now you gotta keep putting dollars in in hopes that the kid will come out. But this dude was in a playground. And then he heard little bro over here. Oh. So you can see here, like, she's basically just narrating what happened in the video. It's not, I mean, I guess may maybe it would be transformative in a court of law. I'm honestly not sure how, how the court would see that. But I mean, for all intents and purposes, you can see that this is clearly kind of, you know, ripping people's content off a little bit. Now, this may sound a little hypocritical coming from me, a commentary channel who reacts to other stuff, because everybody on the internet reacts to other stuff. And for that reason, I've never felt the need to, like, go after Sniper Wolf and, like, cause a huge deal about this, because it's like, you know, everybody's content is made up of, of someone else's content. A lot of stuff that people on YouTube do is arguably transformative, but I would say that her making these videos isn't hurting the content creators in question, right? Because it's not like the people watching these videos are going to like avoid seeing the TikTok as a result or something like that, right? Um, it's not like she's eating into their market share. Is her content completely ethical? Maybe not, maybe not, but I don't think she's hurting the content creators who she reacts to. I don't think she's stealing away their viewers. I mean, they're on a completely different website, right? They're TikToks that would succeed on their own anyway. She's just putting them into an easy digestible format that other people can watch. And, you know, she's a girl uh, that's like pretty so she can be in the thumbnail and people want to click on that because, you know, obviously people like to click on attractive girls. I don't know what the median age of our audience is. I would guess it's quite young or, or quite old. It's, it's literally either 12 year olds who have not seen porn or it's 50 year olds who forgot that porn exists. And as a result, they watch Sniper Wolf and have a parasocial relationship with this girl. Sideways. 
What? Wow. If you want to support the original creators of the TikToks, too bad, because the only links you'll find in the description are all Sniper Wolf. And my favorite is that half of the TikToks she includes either crop out the original username or just straight up don't have one. To use a recent example from just three days ago, she features 19 videos, 10 of which don't have any identifiable usernames. That means there's no way to find and support the original creators here. That's true. But at the same time, I feel like, would it be nice for her to put that there? Yes, undoubtedly. But I mean, if I'm being kind of nitpicky about this video, which I think I support Jack's overall message. I mean, I've been disagreeing with him a little bit, but I think I support it. Regardless of that, most people don't like follow TikTokers. They like see it on their feed and then they scroll to the next one. And that's, and that's really it, right? That's all people care about. And that's evidence from the fact that most TikTokers have a hugely disproportionate amount of views to actual audience members, right? All of the views and all of the revenue go straight to Sniper Wolf. You know the phrase, work smarter, not harder? Well, Sniper Wolf does neither. She just steals and doesn't credit anyone and has become a zillionaire in doing so. <laughs> a fire hydrant exploded and the water's just going everywhere. Pretty cool. Now, some of you be thinking, so what? Who cares? She's giving creators exposure. And hey, maybe she gets permission from the creators to feature their work. So I wasn't really thinking that because I feel like being paid in exposure is not that big of a deal. And as for permission, I thought maybe honestly early on, she was actually in contact with one of these like viral video licensing companies. There's basically companies that will like, if you have a video go viral, they'll contact you and be like, hey, we'll give you 10,000 bucks. But then we own the rights to this video and we can make money off it. And I thought maybe she was getting the content through there. I had no evidence to actually think that she was getting it through one of those companies had like a deal with them. I just kind of, you know, speculated a little bit. I, I assume Jack's going to say here, like she didn't get permission from anyone, right? You already know the answer to that. We reached out to creators who've had their work featured in Sniper Wolf's videos. And when we asked them if Sniper Wolf and or her team had contacted them about featuring their work, every creator said no, they were not contacted. Most of them were blindsided by the fact that Sniper Wolf had been using their content. And some of them were pretty upset about it. Okay, so she doesn't ask permission. Maybe Maybe creators get exposure from her videos, especially if you can see their usernames. Well, let's test that theory. At the very beginning of a recent video, Sniper Wolf reacts to a viral TikTok, complete with her very insightful commentary. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Absolutely not. And look, you can see the original uploader's username. Maybe they got a little bump. Well, when I looked up their account on TikTok, I found they had a decent number of followers, probably due to their whale shark video going viral last year. Because if you look at their most recent TikToks, they're hardly getting any views at all. Which means that, no, people aren't flocking to the original creators, even when their username is displayed on screen. Okay, that's that's true. But also, I feel like that point is slightly negated by the fact that, as he pointed out, this has 50 million views. And apparently, nobody gave a sh enough to watch the rest of their stuff. Like, they're literally literally getting 46 views in their other stuff. Clearly that 50 million they view had video wasn't captivating enough to people in the first place on the platform it was posted to for them to follow this person. So I feel like, I don't know, it just kind of... It, 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 it's, it, it's not like her, th their own exposure benefited them anyway, right? 50 million views. They didn't get a following from that, really. So it's like, you know, what is Sniper Wolf really supposed to do? I mean, I'm, I'm once again, I'm not going to like praise her content and say that it's good content. I'm not going to say that like it's like the most amazing thing in the world. I don't like it. I would never watch it. It, it, it kind of is on paper stealing, right? But I also just think like, eh, I just don't care that much. I just, I just don't care that much. I feel like it's not a big deal. Decent number of followers, probably due to their whale shark video going viral last year. Because if you look at their most recent TikToks, they're hardly getting any views at all. Which means that, no, aren't flocking to the original creators, even when their username is displayed on screen. And remember, this is the first talk in a video with well over a million views. Guess who's reaping all the benefits? <gasps> Believe it or not, actually gets worse. Because sometimes Sniper Wolf steals from other content thieves. Here she is reacting to an Among Us cartoon made by by viral for you. Shocker, that's not the original creator. Because we found the original creator, it only has 1,600 views here on YouTube, but it went bonkers on TikTok when someone else freebooted it. And here's the original creator confirming that their work was indeed stolen. So for everyone claiming- I, I feel bad for that person for sure. I think that like repulse culture is a com like a complicated thing. And like, I don't know. I don't think there's any huge defense for that case in particular. I mean, if anything, I feel like the blame should mostly be placed on the person that uploaded that video, not, not on Sniper Wolf necessarily, right? confirming that their work was indeed stolen. So for everyone claiming, well, at least Sniper Wolf's not hurting anyone, she very much is. Even if she did credit the creators and ask their permission to feature them, it still wouldn't make her content any better because cannot stress how nothing her commentary is. Oh, what's that? And this is this is so true. And th this is why I was confused. 
says to why Sniper Wolf even got mad at Jack, because it's like, she's not out here to make good videos, she's out here to get rich. And she's she's clearly doing that based on her house tour or whatever, right? I think that's, that's it's obvious that she's making a lot of money. So I feel like, why would she even get offended that someone thinks her content's like straight up trash? Like, it is. I feel like she knows that. She has to know that. She makes straight up, like, dog sh complete, complete bottom of the barrel, the worst possible content you could quote unquote make. I, I don't know if you can even call it content because there's no content to it. There's nothing inside of it. There's nothing that's a part of it. She just wants to make money is my understanding. And it's like, well, if you want to do that, that's cool. But if that's your only priority, then why complain when someone calls you a bad content creator? A whole entire car just rolled into the neighbor's yard. See, the reason I keep playing these clips is because of a little thing called fair use. The extremely important legal doctrine that allows creators to upload content that isn't theirs. And in order for content to fall under fair use, it must be transformative, add new meaning to the material. That's how I was able to monetize my old infomercial and Apple parodies. Yeah, I was using copyrighted content, but my satirical slant added transformative value. Going back to Sniper Wolf, her commentary isn't so much transformative as it is just summarizing what we're watching. Someone caught a, is that a cow? Oh no, one of them rolled down. It's not even content, it's non-tent. Sniper Wolf is the damn that's crazy of React. So why am I going after Sniper Wolf in particular? After all, she's hardly the only person stealing other people's content and reaping all the benefits. Is it because, as she suggested, that- Yeah, I mean, another big channel that maybe he neglected to mention is Azzyland. Yeah, I mean, if you go on her channel, she is doing this. It looks like she doesn't upload that much. I think she used to upload a lot more, but when she does upload, it's literally the same exact thing that Sniper Wolf does, which is like, you have a pretty girl, she sits on the side of the screen and she, you know, quote unquote, reacts to stuff and doesn't really add very much, but that's just what she does, right? Hi, today we're playing a game. Guess the weird sound. Ooh, that sounds really nice. I'm sexist and only go after female reactors? Well, no, 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 and no. And you might want to delete that tweet since you love deleting tweets about me, but more on that later. No, the real reason is actually this. Have you ever read a tweet broke your brain? Because this broke mine. This is the official YouTube creators account on Twitter with over 6 million followers acknowledging Sniper Wolf as a keynote speaker at last month's VidCon, claiming she gets her ideas from her fans. Now, there are several things wrong with this tweet. I mean, I... I, I just feel like being mad at this is a little childish. Like, yes, obviously, like, Sniper Wolf is not getting her content from her fans. She's, like, just getting it from TikTok and ripping it. But at the same time, like, she's one of the most popular YouTubers on the platform. What do you expect YouTube to do? It's not like what she's doing is, like, is, like, world-ending. She's not stabbing anyone in the fucking back in the heart, right? She's not running over puppies. She's making reaction videos. And so, obviously, YouTube, seeing that she's one of the most prominent people, is gonna invite her to keynote speaking events. They're a corporation. They're a company. They're gonna do corny stuff like that. I don't, I don't really know what, like, you're expectation is like, oh, today we're going to bring on this guy with 3,000 followers who makes the best noise music and claymation animation because he really represents the YouTube community. Nobody watches that guy. Everybody watches Sniper Wolf, you know, whether you like it or not. People, they're they're, they're going to bring her on for events like that as kind of cringe and embarrassing, and, you know, as it is. Why is she a keynote speaker at VidCon? Why is YouTube creators bolstering this? But the worst thing about the tweet is this, getting video ideas from her fans. What ideas? Quite literally. All she does is upload other people's talks. How is that an idea? What am I not getting here? Do her fans comment, here's an idea, you should react to more TikToks, and she goes, damn, that's crazy. Sorry, I feel a little gaslit here. Seeing YouTube and VidCon boost this kind of activity is so disheartening. It sends a terrible message to creators, and that is, don't create, steal. Why make content when you can curate it? What's the point in writing music, animating, or perfecting your craft when you can just upload someone else's hard work and say, this is nuts. Like, I cannot even believe what I'm seeing right now. Me neither. <laughs> but this has literally always been like, I don't know, I guess I get being frustrated about this, but I feel like at the age Jack is at, which I think he's in his 30s, he would realize that like, <laughs> yeah, the worst is the most popular always in music in art and film and culture. Like the worst thing is typically the most popular thing as well. I don't know why that's super like shocking or mind bending to this guy. I mean, maybe I'm just too blackfield on this. Maybe I should be more mad. And like, I mean, ultimately I understand is like dissatisfaction, but it's like, why is YouTube promoting it? Cause she's really famous. That's literally the answer, right? She's recognizable. She's a recognizable face. Obviously they're going to invite her to speak because she's like the most famous person on this website. The other reason I'm going after Sniper Wolf is she made fun of my hairline. Now that's something only my wife, friends, family, and viewers get to do. Not you, Sniper Wolf. Never you. 
you know, maybe you should react to better comebacks because this is embarrassing. I, I get why you deleted it. I would delete it too. Woof. Part of the reason Sniper Wolf has gotten away with this theft for so long is that her audience is children. I don't mean that condescendingly. I mean, her viewers, literally kids. And kids don't care about things like content theft or freebooting. They just want to go to the page with all the funny TikToks. Wow, this YouTuber has all the coolest TikToks. I really want to know how Sniper Wolf finds all those videos to react to. <laughs> Gee, I don't know. Maybe from the people that made them? By the way, that's a real tweet from YouTube. Are you starting to see why my blood's boiling? So Sniper Wolf's viewers don't care or know about the stolen content. Maybe we should tell them. Maybe we write things in her comment section like credit the creators or hey, I wonder where these TikToks came from. You think she has permission to use these? Or why is her commentary not transformative? She's merely summarizing what we're watching. Okay, maybe that last one a little yeah, maybe we should try explaining fair use to the six-year-olds that watch Sniper Wolf videos. Maybe we should we should message little Timmy on Discord and be like, hey, Tammy, so either you were watching some Sniper Wolf videos, I just want to sit you down for an hour and explain transformative content and fair use to you. He's going to be like off i'm playing angry birds and block you okay yeah this is a <laughs> good strategy we'll we'll leave comments guys we'll save we'll save the world with the comments <laughs> dude come on verbose for the kitties you get my point sniper wolf if you're watching this hi big fan you're probably thinking a few things right now one is why is he so obsessed with to which i say are you serious i just i just told you that a moment ago another thing you might actually be thinking is he's just jealous of my success and you know what sniper wolf i am of course i am you've stolen your way to the top You've made your millions off the backs of hundreds of other creators who didn't really consent to this partnership you forced upon them. And I'm not just jealous, I'm jaded. This is my 17th year on YouTube, and I've seen this platform evolve countless times since I started in 2006. Then, the content YouTube would boost was sketch comedy or meticulous music videos or... I wonder if Jack would, like, I wonder if he would go out of his way to go after people like Hassan or Asmongold who, like, you know, sometimes they'll add something, like, worthy of, like, a reaction to the content. And then other times, like, they'll eat their lunch while watching a YouTube video or they'll, like, piss while watching a YouTube video. I wonder if he would be willing to go after someone like... I mean, maybe he maybe he would. I'm not saying necessarily he would or wouldn't, but I'm just curious if he would have, if he would have anything to say about, like, the fact that Twitch streamers have been doing the same exact thing, like, freebooting content, quote-unquote, for years and years i mean that's just that's just what they do right they just they just like react to stuff with very minimal actual involvement very minimal commentary it's not adding much of an opinion or anything like that content genuine actual content today the very definition of content is arguable because anything can be content for better or for worse when you turn on the water it's gonna why does he care about waterfall? youtube's approval i don't really understand that like why do they why do they really matter maybe this is like an older generation thing because like they like legacy media more i don't really know talking on my own a little bit on this particular thing but like who cares what youtube promotes like they're a company you expect them to like promote good stuff no no oh and then the water pours out of it so you can wash your hands i'm just gonna say it this sucks absolutely suck both the thing itself and youtube's promotion of it so now what where do we go from here i've said my piece will anything actually change no Probably not, which is why I'm not done. Last year, I made a new channel called Jija Jack's Films, parody of Sniper Wolf's channel, where I reacted to her videos in the most drawn out way possible. Soak for seven days. Oh my gosh, a whole week to make paper? No thanks, I'll just buy it at the store. <laughs> no, I kid, of course. No, it's a very complicated process. A whole week, uh, it's been one week since you made me paper. <laughs> These videos were intentionally hard and painful to watch, which got me thinking, what if I made them entertaining? Instead of playing a character, what if I just graded each one of her reactions with legitimate criticism? And what if I credited the creators whenever possible, both in the video and in the description? And what if, occasionally, I enlisted the help of my good friend Jack GPT? Jarvis, please write a haiku on why freebooting is bad. Pirates of the web. <laughs> Snatching memes with no cred. Original sad. Why, you could call that transformative. Heck, I'd argue it even falls under fair use. Wouldn't you agree, Sniper Wolf? Yeah, I'm not really asking. <laughs> It's minus 50. So I guess he's just announcing that he's running this whole other side channel kind of uh, kind of out of spite, which I think is pretty fucking funny. To be honest, like, I feel like maybe this video that I'm making right now will seem a little bit hypocritical for you guys for, you know, my prior takes on our content, which is like, I mean, like, fair enough. Like, maybe I am being a little bit hypocritical here. I might have to take the hit on that one because I've made videos in the past about Sniper Wolf and why I don't why I don't like her content. I mean, it's it's obvious that I basically hold the same opinion that Jack holds on the content, which is like she's stealing stuff. It's bad. It's, like, it's, it's the, the videos she makes are bad her reactions are nothing and on top of that it's like she's making a disgusting amount of money doing it i guess maybe i'm just at a different point now than 
I was a year ago where like, I just like kind of don't care that much anymore. Like, I guess like the content sucks. Maybe I'm just used to seeing it all the time for years and years. So I'm more black pilled on it and I'm less, I'm less interested in like fighting it necessarily. And like I said, I mean like her content is really bad. Her content is like abysmal, but at the same time, I feel like it's not that harmful. I feel like it's not doing that much harm. I mean, I mean, as we saw, you know, with that one particular creator with like the whale shark video, like, yes, she did credit them. And yes, they didn't receive much of a following off of that, but they weren't receiving a following anyway from that content. Most people don't, don't really care about TikTok. It's seen as extremely disposable content. People don't like follow creators on there. There is a community there that does. And that's, tr that's very true. And I'm not saying they don't exist, but the vast majority of TikToks that are seen don't result in a viewer. They just don't. So from that perspective, it's like, I don't think Sniper Wolf's content would get these people huge audiences or make them a bunch of money in the first place, right? Despite the fact that like, obviously she is kind of just ripping him. 57 degrees. Minus 57 degrees. Yeah, that's what he, that's what he said. Yep. Tried to pour a can of Coke. You try to pour a can of Coke? <laughs> stop, stop, stop repeating. You just, she's just repeating what they say louder. Anyways, the first video is already up on Judge of Jack's Films. Go check it out and subscribe because I will be uploading there daily for as long as I want to. You see this big guy? He be eating all of the little guys. <laughs> Bottom line, effortless reaction content has only grown more common since the days of Jinx. And just because it's more normalized now, doesn't make it right. I will continue to call out thieving mooches like this, and I hope my fellow creators will do the same. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to find a good home for this small glass of wine. Shout out to the people that actually make stuff. Mwah. That's true. And obviously, you know, Jack's a more artsy creator who likes stuff like that, and he wants to promote that kind of content, so that's the kind of thing he's gonna go for. But, you know, someone like Sniper Wolf is really just in it to make money, so her, her, best, her best move here Excuse would me, be to like just not respond what? at all and not say anything because is that what I just thought it was? Excuse just... me, man. What? So we're all What's going? <laughs> she needs to go back to making whatever that Only was. You... She's obviously super famous and makes a lot of money from doing it, and that's all she really cares about. So it would be in her best interest to not respond. Um, I have a feeling she probably will respond on Twitter because she last time was like absolutely mauling at Jack for the video he made. But you know, only time will tell really right now. The only real thing that could change anything like this is if there's some kind of lawsuit in which a precedent was set. Like, let's say there was like a class action against someone like Sniper Wolf and which people were like, hey, you're stealing our content. We're going to sue you. And then maybe they go to court, maybe they win, and then people are deterred from making content like that. Until that happens, this kind of content will exist forever, literally forever. And there's there's nothing you can really do about it. And probably one thing that would scare people out of suing her is that she's, you know, super wealthy. Overall, I mean, that was a good video from Jack. It kind of felt like an older YouTube video. It really, really reminded me of like 2016 YouTube with shitting on reaction channels. And, you know, ultimately I agree with his diagnosis, which is that this is a problem. But as far as the prescription he gives, like, I don't know. Like, I just kind of don't. Maybe I'm too black pilled. Maybe I should care. Maybe I should be more mad, but I just kind of don't care. It's like, it sucks. I'd rather just laugh at it than like it's super angry about it. If you actually want to support independent content creators who make cool stuff, the best thing you can do is actually support those people instead of like, you know, focusing your energy and attention on someone like Sniper Wolf. And that sounds corny, but I genuinely think that may be like the best course of action. Practically speaking, I'm not saying you can't hate on her because I really don't like her either, but I think for practical purposes, the best thing you can do is just promote independent content creators and make cool sh rather than, you know, rage at the fact that she reacts to it sometimes. So yeah, that's ultimately my take. Like I get where he's coming from. I think he's right. But then again, like I just have a relative indifference. See ya. And if you liked this video, consider becoming a member. For $5 a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts, unreleased videos, and the members-only Minecraft server. Thanks so much to all of my YouTube members who fund my content.